Yeah, Carlo and Marcella, this is the most clear video uh, we've seen so far. It was captured on this surveillance camera that you see right here behind me. And on the video, it shows what's believed to be the suspect's vehicle driving here down Highland Avenue past that business across the street. Take a close look at the surveillance video of Highland Avenue late Saturday as the two cars on the right pass this store. The window shatters and falls to the ground. Police are now using this video as evidence to try and track down the suspect or suspects responsible for a series of BB gun attacks. Well, when we saw the window and the saw the tape, I thought this is it. This is the same car. These are the same people going around shooting. Christos Capitanos is the owner of Cafe La Maze. It was his surveillance cameras that captured this video. He gave it to National City Police, who are now working with San Diego Police, Coronado Police, and other local law enforcement. Witnesses reported the suspect's vehicle as a white car, possibly a Chrysler 300. More so of uh, why would anyone want to do something like this. Ferdinand Agpawa is the owner of the business on Highland that was hit. There was glass everywhere, uh, both inside the lobby and outside. And what if this was happening during the day and there's someone sitting on the other side of the window? Monday, Coronado police released this photo of a car similar to one in the surveillance video. There were at least 25 vehicles shot in Coronado, several in Paradise Hills and downtown. There were also five people shot, including a Chicago man who was visiting San Diego for Comic-Con. One here and the worst two were down here. So at first when he said he got shot, I looked and he had holes in his shirt. And then I pulled up here and they were bleeding pretty bad. Windows is one thing, but when they're uh, shooting at people, like, you know, that's very dangerous. Back in National City, the window was repaired today. It's just wrong. Both business owners hope the suspect or suspects are caught before there are any other victims. It's not so bad with acts of nature, but acts by people that conduct violence and vandalism, it's, uh, it's very frustrating. And police are asking for the public's help uh, in this case. Uh, police are also looking into whether uh, these latest attacks are tied to another series of attacks that happened earlier this month. Uh, and that was in uh, Point Loma, Ocean Beach, as well as the college area.